Welcome to the product configurator training. This is an overview and this product configurator is a tool that's similar to PT Pilot, which you may be familiar with. Once you've opened the product configurator, which is found in the online support area, then you have the opportunity to select a product category. The other option that you have is you can start the configuration by putting in a type designation. Make sure that you select in the drop down the proper country and frequency. For an example that we'll see here, we're going to select a gear motor. You can also change your personal settings under the user options when you log in. This can help you to set things up beforehand so that they will stay the same as you do multiple configurations. The main navigation is going to give you the option of a guided configuration. It's going to walk you through from the beginning until the end in a linear process. or you can do an individualized configuration process. And that way you just select where you wanna go and maybe make some changes. All you have to do is click to return to the product selection and you can do a new configuration. You can add this to your shopping cart at any time and then you can finish out the process for getting a quote. There's a lot of uh, search features that are available. And it's going to show you here the various options that are there. And you can sort based on what you're looking for, whether it's efficiency or horsepower, for example. Once you find the product you want, then you've made your selection there. You can pick what power you're looking for. You can pick the speed. It's going to show you which ones are closest to those filters that you entered. And then once you found the one that you want, you can click next. The variant section is going to let you pick. Do you want a flange? Uh, what type of uh, mounting do you want? Is it going to have a torque arm? Things like that. What's the mounting position? Flange size. Things that are common when you're selecting a unit. Now we're going to go to the options section by clicking next. And so there's lots of options. These options are ones that you would select based on what the need is for the customer or for you as the customer. So in this example, we're going to choose a break because that's a common option. You can also check the thermal class. So you can set that. With all these selections, you are going to see a description of what's going on here. You'll be able to tell this option has these types of parameters and then the things that you have selected or options that you've selected will appear on the right hand side. So you can see where you're at in the configuration process. You can always click on each one if you want to view the description again, because if you made lots of selections, you may go, I forgot what that was. So you can go back and refresh your memory. When you click next at this point, it's going to take you to the summary page. And so it's going to summarize the technical data and the type designation for your product configuration. You also have a product preview for your configuration as you see there in the center of the screen. This is a CAD model. You can also share your material number with us in the reference data section. 
This field here is down at the bottom, as shown there. And this is what's used for quotations and order confirmations. And if you're looking for an option or a variant, feel free to leave something in the comments and that way we'll make sure that you get exactly what you need. Once you've selected complete to add your configuration to the shopping cart, there are several options in the shopping cart itself. For example, you can get the technical documents, the CAD information for your product, all there in the functions in shopping cart section. You can also save this as a template, so if you seem to order the same thing over and over again, then you can save a lot of time doing that. And then just change what options or specifics, maybe a paint color or a seal as an example. You can also just ask for a quotation. Uh, you're not actually ordering anything. You just would like to get information about it and see what type of pricing you get. And so that's a little bit of the overview of the online configurator. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact our local support, which is found there under the online support hotline. Thank you very much for your attention.